Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Tame Gone Wild, and today we're on level 6, Incy Wincy Lemming? How, uh, what an unexpected thing to find in a Lemmings game. 30 Lemmings, and once again, we must save all of them. I think we may have to save every single Lemming in this entire pack at this rate. What have we got? We've got two entrances, I think there was only one before. But now we have, what do we have? We have four builders, one basher, and one digger. So I think what may happen here is I think we're going to use the Lemmings from this hatch to save the ones over here. These ones over here are safe for now. I think we're fine. I think we're going to get by just fine without them. But I want to take the last Lemming out of this hatch, I think. Make him do some work. He's going to build over real quick. And I think we're going to need... This looks a little bit unnatural right here. This looks like an artificial construction. And I think we may need to come from the very edge of it to do to do the work that we need to do. I think one more frame will put him over the edge. Yes, I was correct in that assessment. All right, and I want to stretch these bridges out just as much as I ding-dong diddly can. So let's see. Only one basher, one basher and one digger. Okay, I think we may be able to get by just using the basher. Let's see about it. I think I think I was right on the call of using... Yeah, it's going to take every bit of stretch I've got. Maybe I would have wanted to use the digger here to come a little lower because it's possible that coming up this far, if I go from the lowest point... No, that works perfectly well. I don't need the digger at all. That's... That's a little... That makes things a little too easy, I may suspect. Unless there is a trap in here that I wasn't... That I that I could have avoided somehow. But it would be really mean to put the trap inside the wall, I do believe. Although, I guess... I guess I shouldn't count any shenanigans out. and We've seen hidden exits before. And that's generally kind of a frowned upon gimmick these days. But that was simple enough. Didn't even have to... I guess the dig is for those who feel a comfortable coming a little little lower, letting them drop a little more. But in, in case you think that builder is going to meet that basher up too high. But let's go ahead and frame skip to the end. That was a pretty simple one. We took that incy wincy lemming, we found it, and we picked it up very carefully with a pair of lemming approved tweezers. Next up is Who's That Lemming? It's Clefairy. It's 30 women, and this time we have a time limit. This one may prove somewhat difficult if we have to. Okay, so we have to move very quickly, but we have the power of paused assignments on our summit. We do have to get over a pretty big wall. What tools do we have to perform that function? One of almost every classic task, except... Okay, let's see. We've got... Okay, we're going to go one climber. All right, we're going to send that climber out immediately. I think we may only need to send one lemming over the edge, but... Okay, they're going to walk over there. All right. Let's go ahead and... Some people are going to make a really long walk, I do believe. But we're going to go ahead and build... All right. Oh, I let him go too long, actually. I want to... Okay, that's good. That leaves a lot of room for... For whatnot. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna mine here. We're gonna mine so that they can get back through, and then we're going to bash, and then hopefully that's going. Hopefully it doesn't take more than a minute to make this walk. That may be the problem area. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Okay, yeah. If you hit up on that wall, I don't know if you can make this entire walk in in the amount of time that. Who splatted? What? Where did that come from? Is there a... what? Okay. Just a sec. Where did that guy come from? Is that like a rando faller that you're... Okay, well, let's let it come out. That was weird. Is there a hatch up there? I see a pretty big crack. And I think I've actually... I don't think they're going to make that walk... I don't feel confident that he's going to make that walk in 20 some odd seconds. So I think we may actually have a bit of a challenge on our hands here. Okay. He bumps up. 
We did save most of the lemmings, but most of the lemmings is not going to cut it. Okay, we have to be okay. We have to be very aware of that faller as well. That was really bizarre, and I still can't totally explain it. But so weird. Okay, well, all right. Let's let's I guess. Okay, yeah, we we saved all but three lemmings, so we need to kind of tighten this up a little. It shouldn't be too hard if we saved 90% on the first attempt, but we need to we need to tighten this one up some. All right, I think what I'm going to do is do the old standing blocker trick. That'll keep everybody in a really tight frame there. So we're going to take our climber, and I guess the only thing we really have to watch out for is... Okay... The only thing we really have to watch for is that floater coming, that really weird random faller coming down from the ceiling, which I don't know if I will ever be explained even to the end of the age. So we do still want our climber to turn around. Yes. And we want to bash. So we're on a bit of a crunch here, but I think we're going to keep the time limit going strong here. I think we're going to keep the keep the blocker until such time as the climber turns it around okay so he bashes through there I think they can all get to the exit pretty quickly from that point and then just as soon as okay we need the last lemming to pop out okay so everybody's turning around all right all right there's gonna be Yep, still coming. Still coming down the way here. What an odd... What an odd little occurrence. Okay, so we're going to need to dig. I thought it was going to dig right there. Can it not dig in that spot? Okay. That's what I thought. Okay, and now... Now we just need to mine to set it free. I didn't see a... Okay, yeah, I was going to say I didn't see a track going through to the bottom of the screen there. So I... That should have worked out pretty fine. But what is that right there? Like, what is this invisible hole space that you can just pull lemmings out of like a rabbit out of a hat? That was bizarre. <laughs> uh, no accounting for quantum science, though, when it comes to lemmings. Next up, we've got Danger Zone. We're going to the Danger Zone. It's 30 lemmings. Um... <laughs> I kind of roughed up my voice a little. 30 to be saved. Let's see what we've got. Lots of builders. And we've got... What have we got fallen? Okay, these are vacuum suckers. That's that's a suckers game right there. So we've got... What do we want to do about this? I don't know. Maybe we want to build over the... We have one basher and one miner. But a basher is not going to... What goes over here? All right. So... Okay. I guess we want to build over... Alright, I'm going <laughs> to... Well, nice little pause there. See a lemming get vaporized. It's it's the wave of the future. We want to go ahead and we want to build over that. We want to see first if somebody will die as a result. Because we would definitely not want that happening. Okay, so nobody's going to die right there. That's 50 is a pretty generous release rate. So, yeah. Oh, that's good right there. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, but I think I may be able to... Oh. Hmm. Okay. So, the only real problem here... Um... Okay. We're gonna need to separate one lemming from the pack somehow. But what I want to do now is, once again, build over this little touch of niceness here. Hopefully, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, will I get caught if I dig right there, if I mine right there, rather? No, that is perfectly safe. And, okay, they're still going to get zotted by the, okay, we didn't want that. That is the exact opposite of what we wanted, so we need, we need a good solid, there we go. That is a much better looking tent. There we go, all right. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to release a bunch of people. And we're going to see just how many builders it takes to get to the top. I'm seeing that maybe... You can touch barely in the bottom segment there? I think it's going to take two no matter what. So I'm just going to... I'm going to do this for now. 
I'm gonna do this from here. Okay, a lot of lemmings coming down the way, and I think... Oh, I didn't realize they were coming. Okay. They didn't real okay, so this will be much easier, actually, I think, than I'm anticipating. So I'm gonna go... I'm gonna wait... How many lemmings can... Okay, I think this one can maybe safely start building without patching everybody. Okay. Oh, no, that's not... Well... Uh, that's still probably healthy enough. No, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that guy starting from there. I want the lemmings walking a long way. Not that one, again. Okay. And I think probably we can start going from about here now. Okay, and then we want to build over this, of course. Maybe come a little farther back. So that we can get right on top of that. Okay. Okay, we should be able to build to this next area without hitting our heads. And that will leave us one to go over so that we can free them. Okay, very good. Very sharp. Very tight. Very nice. Oh! Oh, that barely worked. But barely counts. So, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and free these folks from their fate. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Because everybody is going to the same home eventually. So let's go ahead and... I think they can wait a little longer on their journey. If it means freeing some friends. There we go. We got around. I didn't even realize there was a hatch here to start with. But it kind of works out. You only have 15 lemmings wandering down around bottom instead of 30. So... Have a little more time to work in this... Little trap zone area of lemming death. This is going really fast and really quick. So... I want to go ahead and squeeze in one more today. There's going to be four levels in this. That's a full 20% of the pack. Let's move straight into it. We've got, and now, this. This being, they put the entrance much higher up. It's right here now. A fire trap? That's possible? Okay. Well, fine by me. Uh, but we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of safe room to work with here. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and make the climber go up now. So we have to get around the fire trap and the ketchup wheel. That shouldn't... That I don't think this will prove terribly difficult. Okay, so he goes... Alright. Uh, am I fine with this? Yeah, I'm going to say I'm fine with this. So I'm going to go ahead and get him... They don't walk up over that, do they? Okay, no. We can just bring everybody out now. We are, however, going to have to use a builder on... Okay. We're going to have to use a builder on turning him around. Okay. So he's going to hit pretty quickly. Hmm. Maybe I want to go even higher up. Because I think he's going to hit that... Uh... I can make this work. I think I have enough resources to work with here. Oh, hey. Okay, so I don't want to hit straight on that fireball, so I don't want to mine directly through that piece, do I? I don't think so. Okay, let's see what this does for us. Will this get us out safely, or do I need to kind of go through the... Because if I touch the fireblower, it's curtains. Okay, we're around the fireblower. That's... That's just fine. So, one builder up to the top, one over this... One more. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of builders. I've got way more resources than I need to work this out. Okay, so one over that. We may actually need two to get over this because the I was going to say, yeah, isn't the trigger actually on the other side? But let's go ahead and run it. We won't actually get in trouble for touching the, the wheel itself a little. So let's just go ahead and put a bridge over that. Let's put a pretty little bridge over that, a little duder, as Bob Ross would call it. I actually caught a Bob Ross episode live on TV the other night. Let me tell you, in these times of despair and woe, it was it was actually pretty calming. I'm not going to lie. But I think that means we can build them out now. Let's go ahead and get them to victory. They can make the walk safely now, now that the way has been prepared. And we've got way more than enough tools left. So, yes, another... And now this... Another easy level. Any, there aren't any 
hatches that I'm missing, right? Nope, just the one. Just getting them out of this high up little... I love this tile right here. The perfectly square, looks like Tetris elements tile. Very nice looking. Very good. So there we go. We got a line of lemmings marching towards the exit. And there you have it. This pack is going really, really smoothly. I think it's probably intended to be on the easier side, but I did not expect it to be this easy. But then again, these are the tame levels, and I do think there is only so much you can do with them. So it is what it is, I suppose. Moving right along, super chugging. I feel pretty good about myself. This is this is a nice little <laughs> feather in my cap. <laughs> 